not today, it's, it seems like yesterday when it happened. Uh, we come down here every year uh, because of what happened on September 11th and those who we knew and loved. And uh, it was just a tragic day that day, that uh, something that we'll never ever forget. Let it be. They just felt so violated. Too much. Yes, violated. I just see it over and over again when you, when you come here. It's getting harder and harder to come here because you can't get closer as you used to get. This, is, this has been the roughest year because of how they have it set up. But I understand. Let it be, let it be, let it be. Every year I come back, it's just, I noticed that a lot of people kind of forgot about it. And like every year I come, it seems to be less and less people, which bothers me a lot. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, when I was coming up here yesterday, uh, somebody said, where are you going? I said, New York. And they said, what for? And I said, 9-11. And I go, oh, that's right, it's 9-11. And I was like, how can you forget something like that? So I come up here every year because I'll never forget. I felt sad when we moved back down here. I felt that I could, maybe couldn't work down here, but I also felt that it was important to, for the ones that passed, for us to live on and move on because that's what they would have wanted for us. But today I feel, I feel, I still feel sad in my heart about what happened. supervisor here at St. Paul's Chapel during the recovery and I'm here today because um, all of us that worked here come for a reunion once a year to take care of each other. I was praying for us that the, the, the people who died are happy in heaven and that the people who are left behind that they would be healed. open up old wounds, you know? That's what it means to me. Because I would say I'm a victim of it, and I've been sick from it. Still on medication for it. You know, so it's, it's just like opening up old wounds, that's all. It really hurts. It's a hard time, but uh, this country is strong. We'll be, we get over this. We'll get over this. It takes time to heal these old wounds. When I find myself in times of trouble, on that day I responded in, I got down to ground zero. My son Jimmy was a fireman and he was in the buildings and when I got there the towels had just fallen. And I spent nine months looking for him and I found him in March 2002. We found his body and we took him out and buried him. Oh, it's, you know, I come back here, my son's body is where he breathed his last breath. I know. Where his soul left his body. And it's where a lot of my friends died. And I think, uh, you know, it's, it's I do it in memory of all of them. All the heroes that died that day, civilian and, and first responders, all of them. Every year we cook hamburgers and hot dogs. I started September 11, 2002, because the kids get out of school and I said, look, I want to instill some goodness. And I'm not celebrating any happy event by no means, but I'm celebrating a strictly memory of what happened here. And if, if, if we can say to ourselves, let's respect each other, give each other a little bit of respect, it'll go a long way. Because to kill people is an easy thing. To negotiate peace and be kind to each other seems to be more difficult. We were a very resilient neighborhood. At first, I, I didn't know what was going to happen to this neighborhood, but now I have a lot of faith. Lost a lot of friends. And, you know, just try to make the best of it and move on and do what's good for the neighborhood and the country. And now we got new life here. We got new life coming up in the neighborhood. 
it's nice to see new life instead of uh, people people dying like, like uh, seven years ago, you know. Yeah.